Welcome back to the Backyard Bar. Welcome to It Was All A Dram. All right, as always, I'm Jason. Today we're going to be reviewing a scotch. It's a King of Queens blended scotch whiskey. King of Queens blended scotch has no age statement. It's bottled at 40% ABV and a one liter bottle is $15 US at duty free. King of Queens, uh, I believe the name actually has a tie to Mary Queen of uh, Mary Queen of Scots. Has to do with her parents. I believe the blend may have been commissioned by her father uh, for her mother. She brought it with her supposedly when she fled, and this is what is that uh, that blend. I believe they have a 12-year single malt and an 18-year single malt as well. This is just blended scotch whiskey doesn't have an age statement but my understanding is it was aged three years I believe so we're gonna check it out see how it tastes see how it smells as always let's get into it King of Queens blended scotch whiskey no age statement right off the bat there is a bit of a vanilla a vanilla and a, an oak to it it was a little bit clean which I don't like uh, I'll be honest it's, it's a bit of a like a I don't want to say disinfectant, that sounds terrible, but it is, that, that's how it comes across. Like, it has a bit of sweet, a bit of oak, and then this sort of sanitary scent to it. I'm a little iffy on the, on the nose, I don't... Let's see how it tastes. It's not the smoothest, but the finish is quick. It's all spice. It's all spice. I'll give this a 65. Um, it is odd. I don't smell the spice. I taste the spice. So that's King of Queens blended scotch whiskey. Alright, so that's the show. Hope you enjoy. Tune in next time. We'll be reviewing another great scotch, another great bourbon, another great whiskey. And until then, bottoms up. Not much left here.